Eight years ago, I left my full-time job at Google to go freelance, and there was one life-altering thing that helped me to go from burnt out, I'm just a little overwhelmed, to feeling like I had control of my freelance career. And no, it wasn't making more money. As a full-time motion designer, I experienced a lot of freelancers hustling and grinding and really sacrificing their own personal lives. So I promised myself that when I was a freelancer, I would make sure that I set boundaries and prioritized my work-life balance. At first, I was pretty successful at setting boundaries and building relationships with my clients. So I had a consistent stream of work, which allowed me to take time off and spend time with my friends and family. So I thought, well, I must have solved this work-life balance problem. Problem solved. The pro problem, problem solved. Not solved. But as time passed, unfortunately, I did find myself slipping into bad habits and neglecting my friends and family and also my health. Let me know in the comments below this video if you feel like you can relate to this right now. So I knew I needed to take action and rediscover my priorities. Luckily, I stumbled upon a book called The Vivid Vision. I took what I learned from The Vivid Vision and I made my own exercise, which I continue to use every year when I do my annual review. By following this exercise, I was able to take control back of my business and career and to build a business that supports my lifestyle. So I'm gonna leave the exercise below, but I do want to go through an example with you today in this video. So imagine you have four glasses. These represent health, family, finance, and friends. And the finance one represents your business or your career. So if you only put your time and energy into one of these areas, the other ones are gonna end up pretty dry. An easy way to start to get around this is to think about your top three priorities in each area and divide out your energy between these top three priorities to make sure that you're getting them done. But what about everything else? You could spread your energy out evenly, but then you're gonna be spreading yourself pretty thin. So how do we put all of our time and energy into all of these areas at once? What you need to do is combine this exercise with something that I've also learned over the past two to three years. I figured out that you need to build systems and automation into these areas of your life so that you can save time and energy for the stuff that really matters. You can in fact employ these systems and automations to do the easy and repeatable tasks that you need to do so that you can focus your energy elsewhere. This is where identifying these areas of your life really comes in handy. So you can go through each of these categories and figure out what needs to be delegated and what needs to be automated. So my task to you is write down these four areas of your life and jot down the most important things that you want to do. Choose the top three priorities in each category and then ask yourself what can be delegated or automated into a system. So for example, in the finance category, maybe spend a lot of time moving money around into your savings or investing accounts. And this can be something that can be easily automated into a system to save you a lot of time later. So it might take you a little bit of time to set this up when you first get started, but every month it's gonna save you hours where you would need to move money around to your different bank accounts. If you're curious about how to take your finance systems to the next level, then I really recommend reading a book called Profit First by Mike Michalowicz. I'll leave a link below this video in the description. If you're a freelancer, you might have many clients asking you to jump on a call with them when you don't know much about the project. This can lead to a lot of back and forth on email, wasting a lot of time, and then eventually when you do get the client on the phone, you figure out that the project isn't right for you or maybe that they don't have enough budget. We're done with you. To save yourself a lot of time and headaches, what you could do is set up a call with something like Calendly, which helps you to create slots so the client can easily book a call, but what you could also do is ask questions up front before they book a call with you. This is something that our student Mike does in my course Balanced Business Bootcamp. Mike set up a Calendly link so that his clients can book a discovery call with him 
and he also asked them different questions so that he was prepared for the call and he knew that they were a good fit for him in his studio going in. You can use systems to free up your time to take your freelance business or studio to the next level. And if you want me to show you how to do this, then you should join our free workshop. I'll leave the link below this video in the description. I'll also be sharing more about our new program, Balance Business Bootcamp, in this workshop. So to find out if you're a good fit, you should take our quiz below. I'll see you next week for more tips and advice on the business side of design and animation.